Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In this video, we are going to build Create Employee REST API. So, Create Employee REST API basically handle HTTP POST request and it will get a employee JSON object from the request and it will convert it into the employee Java object and it will save employee Java object in a database and it will return the employee saved object to the client. Alright, go to employee controller and here let me write the command build create employee REST API. Okay, I am just create a method public and the return type of the method is employee and give method name something like create employee and just pass method argument as employee object. Okay, and this method returns the saved employee object. Okay just call employee repository and call save method so save method takes entity object so just pass employee object and that's it so save method basically returns the saved object in our case it's employee object okay and let's annotate this method with add post mapping annotation to handle http post request and we no need to give a URL something like slash employees over here, okay? Because the employees already added in a in a base URL. Okay, let me remove this. Perfect. And here you can see method argument employee. So we have an annotation in Spring that is at request body annotation. So this annotation will basically convert a JSON into Java object okay great now let me save the file and let me start the spring boot application and then we'll test this rest api using postman rest client all right our spring boot application is up and running let's head over to postman client and create a new request and make sure that you choose http post here and just type here http localhost colon 8080 slash api slash v1 slash employees okay and go to body and go to raw and here choose content type as a json because we are passing json in a request body and here we need to prepare the json well if you can see the employee object that we have passed to this create employee method it has first name last name and email id so we need to prepare a json such a way that we need to pass key as a first name last name and email id so key should be same as first name last name and email id all right so go ahead and uh, in a body section just add first name okay and value as let's say ramesh and let's say last name so we have a record already with the name ramesh so let me add different record here something like umesh okay and give last name as a furtari and email id email id let's give something like further at the rate gmail.com okay and go ahead and click on send button and there we go we have already two records in our database table now third record is inserted and the rest api return third record with id 3 okay it means that our create employee rest api is working as expected in next video we'll create a react component and we'll consume this rest api okay i will see you in the next video